So here are the quad S2s. Just normal size box. It um, is 20 inches deep, 17 inches high, 15 inches wide. Total weight is 32 pounds. So it's pretty easy to move up the stairs all by myself. So shouldn't have a problem with it, carrying it. Uh, as you can see, there are my current quad S2s. And uh, I've had these for about two months now, and that just shows you how much I love these speakers. I went ahead and bought a second pair. I'm gonna use these downstairs in my living room system. So but let me get uh, into the box and show you what's inside. They're in a plastic bag. And they're also inside of a cloth bag as well. So nice little touch. I already know that they come with, they don't come with any um, port plugs or anything like that. Manual. I know they come with some white gloves, some rubber footers. And that's basically about it. I do like the fact that they wrap the speaker in this nice little cloth to keep the finish nice. Magnetic grill is on the front. Take that off. And there you go. I'm really impressed with the build quality on these. The fit and finish is very nice. There's no seams. They've got rounded edges. Nice piano gloss finish. I just think they're a really attractive speaker. Five inch Kevlar woofer. And I think the ribbon tweeter is it's a two inch by about a half an inch rib, true ribbon tweeter. But these are a beautiful speaker and they sound just as beautiful. I really like the high quality binding post on them. They could be bi wired. So, but stay tuned for, I plan on doing a little bit of a review on them. I've had these speakers now for two months and uh, they're very musical. I enjoy them very much. That's why I bought a second pair. But anyways, yeah, look forward to the uh, review later on and hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care. So one more last video of uh, the unboxing. I just kind of wanted to get some more shots of them. Two pairs of quad S2s in the house. So like I said, one is going to go downstairs in the living room. But as you can see, they're a very nice white gloss, no seams rounded edges. I mean, the build quality is immaculate. I love the binding post back here. I recently had some ELAC debut reference. I think they were 52s or 62s. I think they were 62s. And the binding posts were so close together and it was very hard to work with the uh, banana plugs I had because they're uh, unlocking and locking banana plugs. So I have to screw them in. And it was very difficult. But these, in and out, no issues at all. I can do the Pretty, uh, pretty inert speaker, not a lot of hollowness to them. Small port. Um, yeah, so I plan on, like I said, doing a review of these speakers. I'll even do a little sound demo here in a minute just to post that because I know people like to hear that. I don't know why. I mean, I guess it's fun to hear, but I mean, it doesn't 
come close to showing you what it really sounds like in a room on proper electronics, but I'll do a sound demo nonetheless. But yeah, Quad S2s, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. If you guys can find them, I suggest picking them up if you're interested because they're getting harder and harder to find. Um, I read one website saying that due to import restrictions that they're not, you know, they're not shipping Quad S2 speakers to the U.S. right now. So anyway, uh, have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later.